Hello, uh, this is Narad once again with my fourth video. My story is on my migration journey to the U.S. We call it a resettlement journey to the U.S. After spending almost for two decades, almost 20 years in the refugee camps in Nepal, we were not able to return to Bhutan because the governments of Bhutan and Nepal failed to yield any resolution for the right to repatriation. That was not possible. Therefore, in 2008, the government of the United States and the other countries of core group offered resettlement for the Bhutanese refugees to give an opportunity to resume their new life. I could not accept the resettlement program immediately because I was hoping and still optimistic that something miracle might happen and I and my family could return to our homeland with dignity and safety. But until 2011, it didn't happen. Rather, I started receiving death threat from the unknown source because I was continuously advocating for the right to repatriation. When nothing happened, I had no choice. I started thinking, what will happen if I am killed? What will happen to my innocent wife and my minor eight children? So. We approached to the UNHCR to reopen our file and to restart our process. The process was very lengthy and frustrating some time. Somehow, after several months of the process, we were ready for the final departure. I opted to come to the United States because my families had already resettled here. And also in 99, I was offered to travel to the United States by the US government under the International Visitors Program in recognition to my advocacy for human rights in Bhutan. I was very impressed by the principles of the democracy, human rights, freedom, life, and liberty in the U.S. We started our journey in the end of July of 2011 from the camp and arrived in Kathmandu, where we have to go another round of final screening, medical examinations, paperwork, and exchange of our currency. Everything was completed on time and we departed from there to the U.S. On the 4th of August 2011, we arrived in the U.S. We were welcomed by the resettlement agency and the members of our family were already resettled here. The story does not end there. We have to start our integration into the American society, going through same amount of health screening, paperwork, application for the food stamp, health insurance, and enrollment of our children to the school. Things started improving better day by day. In 2017, I and my family became the dignified citizen of the U.S. In 2018, my son completed his bachelor's degree on the computer science and started in a software computer company job. Now my daughter is a sophomore student in the George Washington University in DC. We are more happy and more relaxed now. As a former refugee, I have several bitter experiences to share 
and lessons to learn. For now, this is the end of my story, but I'll have more in my next video. Thank you for watching.